Good morning. You listen to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Elena Capra, who's the show spokesperson for Coverings and also a principal at Elena Capra Design. Elena, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good morning, Kemp. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, yeah, it's been a year since we've talked. Last year, we talked in Orlando when Coverings was down there. This year, the show is up in Chicago, an exciting place because it is somewhat of a center of design. Now, let's talk about the show in just a minute. Before we get there, I'm sure some of my listeners would like to know a little bit about your business. Obviously, you focus in interior design, upper-end residential in the southern Florida area. How's business? Oh, things have been great. My business, things have been very busy in uh, the design and construction down here in South Florida in particular. There's lots of high-rises going up. I think everything is just, there's so much building. There's so much going on. And this might be the busiest year that I've had thus far since I've been in business, which is great. Definitely lots of things going on. I also have some projects in New York as well and some other areas and, you know, just as busy there. It's a great year, I believe, for the design and construction industry. That's always exciting. Mm-hmm. And, and when it comes to using tile in the interior projects that you work on, are more and more areas going to tile? Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, even in South Florida and any other areas, of course, a lot of tile in my main flooring throughout, as well as accent walls, a lot of the wood porcelain. I'm really particularly excited about now using a lot of the thin porcelain. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially uh, fashioned as furniture pieces. I'm doing a, uh, for a, a condominium building for their common area rooms, we're doing a series of tables in thin porcelain fabricated from that. And uh, I love the products, and I'm just excited to finally be using that. And um, it's exciting to use tile in other places where we might have just purchased, you know, a wood table or, or something else or a glass top. You know, now I'm able to use it for all of its great properties. So it's sort of exciting using some different kinds of tile in a lot of my projects now. So I'm particularly excited about that. Yeah, this thin tile phenomenon is gonna is really going to change the business. Yeah, I love it. I just had my fabricators made me a large table for my own office recently, and it is the best. And I'm so excited. The, the building I we're, we're ordering for is very excited about using them as well. And just such a great product. All right, let's talk about the show. It's two weeks away, uh, April 18th to the 21st. And it's at the McCormick Place. Most people remember last time it was there. There are two halls, and it uh, fills up these two halls. So it's a big show. I think, what, there's uh, 1,100 exhibitors that are booked for the show. Is that right? Yes, that's just about right. There's about 1,100 exhibitors from around the world, and it's going to be you know, lots of exciting products and things out there. So another great show in the works. Hopefully the snow that's uh, been blowing down from Canada is going to be away by then because Chicago in the spring can be fun, can't it? Yeah, Chicago in the spring is a great, these are beautiful weather, and I think hopefully we will be lucky and have some great weather for the show, which I'm looking forward to. Well, as people who have uh, committed to go are making their plans, let's talk about a, a few of the highlights. Tell us about some of the exciting things that are happening at the show this year. So there's a lot of things going on. We've got you know some great keynotes. We've got the Gettys Group and, uh, of course, the Interior Design Magazine panel happening, lots of educational sessions, so many for just about every genre of the industry, and we've got the Insulation and Design Showcase happening, which I am particularly excited about since I'll be participating for the second time this year. That's going to be a fun, it's always a fun interactive thing going on at the show, so you'll see that fully built at the end on the last day, and that'll be always a a great thing. We've got some of the tours for first-timers who might be coming to coverings. We've got know lots of different things all the usual great things that coverings plus a few more mm-hmm. all right just to get into a little more depth on this on these design showcases this is i don't know four or five different little vignettes this is where a designer's involved an installation crew's involved their sponsors that are supplying the tile and in the end i think toward the end of the show you go there and you see what the end result is and you're you're doing one it's actually how you got started with your relationship with coverings right it is. I began with the very first installation and design showcase they had ever done, mm-hmm. and I worked with Art Craft and Ceramics of Italy, and again, now I'm paired with the same great group, mm-hmm. so I will be working with them all once again. So that's also a great and, and very exciting thing because it was wonderful the first time around. So now, years later, the showcase has you know evolved, and more and more has been added. It's 10-foot by 20-foot spaces. There's going to be four. I am doing a boutique space. Last time I did a bathroom, so this mm-hmm. time it's a little different. Again, we're you know showcasing tile in all different t- 
types of uses. There's going to also be, I believe, a hotel lobby, a spa, and a lounge. So when you say a boutique space, you're talking about a retail space? Yeah, I'm doing kind of a shoe and clothing boutique space, mm-hmm. and I'm you know, using some really fun and bold tiles from Ceramics of Italy, lots of different vendors. I'm going to have a peacock glass mosaic uh, from Citrus that they're custom making for that, for the back wall, which is a beautiful piece. And mm-hmm. I'm using a gorgeous turquoise color porcelain from Atlas Concord, three-dimensional white tile from Tachina, and St. Agostino is going to provide my flooring, which is actually a uh, fabric kind of printed looking porcelain as well. And got a couple more other mosaic accents from Peaches, and Schluter is providing all of the trim pieces, and I am really excited to see this come together, because I kind of went all out and picked a lot of fun and bright and different colors and different types of tile and textures and sizes, mm-hmm. so it should be fun to see it all come together. You know, when you do a project like this, you do the design, and then somebody else actually does the craftsman work. Are you using a, a craftsman installation crew you've worked with before? Yes. Yeah, so Artcraft will be doing the installation, and they worked with me the first year, and they are fantastic, fantastic tile installers. So it's, I mean, it's like no stress because I know how they're that good, and they're going to do an amazing job. All the installers in the showcase are all just absolutely the best of the best, and, and when you see, that's the whole point of the showcase, to see that synergy, that great synergy between design and great installation come together mm-hmm. and great products, and it's just, it's awesome. I know that, you know, every edge will be finished perfectly and everything is thought out. And I'm just really excited because I know I'm in great hands. All right. One of the things I, I did some looking this weekend prior to this interview and some things I'm definitely planning to attend. I, I want to call out is a couple of the keynotes. Latrice Eastman with the Pantone Color Institute is doing a talk. There's also an economic presentation by Randy Pfizer with the American Society of Interior Designs. And Donato Grosser and Santo Tercivi are doing a more B2B tile industry presentation. So there's a, a lot, a lot of good keynotes and educational seminars. And I should mention, too, a lot of these educational seminars offer CEU credits for designers, which are required for them to maintain their licenses. And so there's a lot for designers to see at the show, right? Absolutely. And it's great to get out there and get those CEU hours and get some great knowledge. So it's a win-win. All right, Elena, I look forward to seeing you there at the show. Again, we're talking about the 2016 version of Coverings, the largest tile and stone show in North America. We've been talking to Alina Capra, who's show spokesperson and principal with Alina Capra Design. And you've been listening to Kempar and floridelli.net.